Welcome back to Season 9 of World War Tube. Next up is the UK. Purchases will be a fighter and three tanks for 28 IPCs, meaning we'll be saving five in the bank for next turn. Combat. There will be two combat moves for the UK this round, both of them here in the Pacific. First of all, we are attacking Burma, where we have one defending Japanese infantry. We'll be sending six of the infantry in India to attack Burma, as well as the tank. And the AA gun, I'm going to move in now as well. And the second combat move is going to be here in the East Indies. Uh, we have quite an interesting battle. Three infantry and three artillery defending the East Indies. And we will be attacking it with the fleet down here in C-Zone 30. We've got a transport with two infantry. We've also got a cruiser to bombard. And we also have a fighter moving one and two. We'll have two movement left. And I'll move the carrier here. Uh, I know it's non-combat, but the fighter will land back on the carrier, so I'll move it now. We also have a transport here in C-Zone 34. We'll move to 35, pick up an infantry and an artillery from India, and also drop them into East Indies. And we will also support the attack with the bomber in India, movement of three, and that one of the fighters in India, one, two, three will have one movement left in its fuel gauge. So let's get to the battle board and resolve this, resolve both of these battles. Uh, starting out with, let's do, uh, let us do Burma first. We have six infantry on attack, all of which unsupported by artillery. So it's gonna be six dice at one, which is statistically enough um, but we'll throw in one, two, three, four, five, six. There's the tank. And let's uh, throw in the blue dice for the defending Japanese infantry. One hit is all we need. And it's a whiff. We've got nothing at all. Both sides missed every single shot. So let's try again. And that's better. We get three hits that time. Japanese infantry missed again. Uh, so we will walk in there, grab Burma without any casualties. And let's update the chart while we go. Uh, Japan and the UK swap sides on the chart. So UK is at 34 and Japan's down to 33. Now for the interesting one. Right. <clears throat> Once again, we have um, three infantry and three artillery defending here, and we're attacking it with three infantry, one artillery, two fighters, a bomber, and a cruiser bombardment. So uh, we've got two unsupported infantry, first of all. We have an infantry artillery pair, so two blues. We have a cruiser bombardment, we have two fighters, and we have a bomber. We need six hits, which is possible, but unlikely. Let's see what we get. Ooh, that is crap. Two hits. Not uh, the best start. The bomber missed as well. Uh, a bit rubbish there. Let's return fire for six. One, two, three, four, five, six dice at two for the defending Japanese in the East Indies. Ooh, and three hits, which is uh, <laughs> better than I uh, expected there. Okay, so three hits for two hits. Um, that's rubbish, actually. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'll take out two of the 
Japanese infantry. Um, oh man. And I lose three infantry as well. Oh, that's a risky one. I don't think I'm going to press on against that. Is that really... It's probably not worth it. Hmm, let me think for a moment. Yeah, I guess I'm going to retreat here. Um, it's not really worth putting my planes at danger. So, um, it's a weird one though, because I don't think I can retreat with the artillery. So, I'm going to assume that's what the rule is. I'm going to retreat the planes. But um, I think I'm forced to carry on for the artillery. Um, so, I guess let's do that. If I'm wrong here, then I'll just retreat the artillery into the uh, transport ship, but I don't think I can do that, so let's see what happens. I get a miss. Rolling for four dice at two, and gets one hit. Hmm. I should have maybe just uh, gone for a second round there. So I'm going to lose the artillery, and that went a lot worse than I thought it would um, but never mind such is the dice uh, okay so we're gonna go straight into the non-combat now uh, and we will land the bomber in India the two fighters on the carrier and Two fighters in India will move up to Moscow. Um, okay, in the tanks in Caucasus, two of them will go to Moscow. And the other one is going to move over to Xinjiang. Uh, the troops in Norway, two infantry, one artillery, two tanks, moving forwards into Finland. We have the fighter flying off the carrier in C-Zone 7. One, two, three, and four to Moscow. And our Atlantic fleet over here. Uh, moving down to... C zone 13, everything minus the carrier. The two transports will pick up two infantry, two artillery from the UK. Move down to 13, drop them into Morocco. And we'll bring the cruiser and the destroyer along. All right, that's just about it. So let's place units now. Three tanks going into India. And the fighter will be mobilized onto the carrier in C Zone 7. The UK is at 34 on the chart. We saved five. Give me, sorry for the delay. We're at 34. We saved five, so we'll have 39 to spend for next turn. All right, that's about it. Let's do a recap. Uh, okay, in Morocco, we have two infantry, two artillery, season 13, two transports, a destroyer and a cruiser. The UK has an AA gun, and in C Zone 7 we have a carrier with a fighter. We have in Finland three infantry, an artillery, and two tanks. Moscow has five fighters and two tanks. My battery is on 5% on my phone, so hopefully I can make it through this. One tank in Xinjiang, three in India and a bomber. In Burma we have six infantry, a tank and an AA gun. Uh, 
in the East Indies, we have a bunch of corpses. Uh, outside the East Indies, we have um, two transports, a, a cruiser, a carrier with two fighters. Western Australia, one f uh, infantry. New Zealand, one infantry and one sub in Sea Zone, uh, Philippines. That's about it for this episode of World War Tube, UK turn. Next to go will be Japan. Good luck, no limit. Sorry for the rushed ending. And thank you for watching.